Today on BRS TV investigates how long will a UPS battery backup designed for computers actually last when the power goes out on your tank versus a DC option designed for aquarium pumps. Today we've got the answer. Hi, I'm Randy with this Friday's BRS TV Investigates, where we put popular reefing gear, theories, and methods to the test by experimenting on our own tanks so you don't have to experiment on yours. And in today's experiment, we see how long our Vortec MP10s will last during a power outage when we back them up with two different size UPS battery backup boxes and a single Ecotech battery backup. Today we're looking for answers to a couple of questions. First is just how long will our MP10s run when connected to a 900 volt amp UPS battery backup versus a 60% larger 1500 volt amp backup and both of those versus an Ecotech battery backup. And secondly, is the investment cost for each of these options worth it when it comes to protecting your tank from a power failure? Let's find out. So just like I mentioned, we have three different battery backup solutions tied to three Vortec MP10 power heads. For the UPS batteries or uninterruptible power supplies, we picked up two similar brand options with the first being a CyberPower 900 AVR, which is 900 volt amps battery and inverter capable of supporting up to 560 watts and cost us about 110 bucks. The second UPS battery backup is the CyberPower 1500 AVR with 1500 volt amp battery and inverter capable of up to 900 watts, which was $70 more at $180. One of the ways you can tell the 1500 has a larger battery is by its weight, which comes in at 23.79 pounds, whereas the 900 weighs a bit less at 21.76. So you would certainly assume that the larger battery would last longer, but we'll see if that's the case in just a moment. Finally, we have the Ecotech battery backup option for a little under 175 bucks, which has an 18 amp hour capacity at 12 volts and comes with two battery backup power adapters that plug directly into one or more Vortec pump driver or even daisy chain two battery backups together. One note about the weight of this backup is it's nine pounds lighter than the 1500 AVR and seven pounds lighter than the 900, weighing in at only 14.78 pounds. So to run this experiment, all we had to do was plug in each pump into the respective battery power supply, set each pump to its max 100 constant run speed, which I tested at 18 watts power draw, then record a time lapse while they ran until the pump driver went dark and the pump stopped pushing water. Let's see how long each one held up. Immediately after pulling the power, we can see that the two MP10s plugged into the UPS battery backups continue to run at 100% constant, so drawing the full 18 watts throughout the duration of the test. However, the Vortec connected to the Ecotech battery backup switches to battery backup mode where the driver LEDs dim and the pump speed automatically defaults to 20% of the max speed of the pump, which prior to the test, I measured to be around a four to five watt power draw or 77% less wattage versus the original full 18%. I think just from the difference of operating wattage alone, we can all safely bet on the Ecotech battery backup lasting the longest, but let's see what the time lapse says. Within the first five hours, we see our first UPS battery backup powered down and the pump fail right at five and a quarter hours. And surprisingly, it was the larger 1500 volt amp UPS that failed first and not much longer after, about 30 minutes, the much smaller 900 volt amp backup fails lasting only five and three quarter hours. So the obvious question is, why would the larger UPS battery fail before the smaller battery? Well, I believe it's because the larger UPS also has a larger 900 watt inverter, which consumes more power and is less efficient for running something small like these 18 watt power heads. Moving on to the Ecotech battery backup time lapse, the total runtime at 20% max power actually spans multiple days of continuous operation, where as the battery life fades, we see the LED indicator on the pump driver slowly fall from left to right, indicating the battery's remaining life. Finally, after nearly 80 hours of runtime, the driver begins to struggle to stay lit and the pump finally stops at around 81 and a half hours or 15 and a half times longer than the largest UPS we tested today. Okay, so outside of the differences in wattage draw from the pumps, why did the Ecotech battery run longer in this test? 
I'd say it's likely because the UPS batteries designed for computers have to utilize an inverter to switch the DC battery power to AC power, which consumes energy, whereas the DC Vortec runs directly off the Ecotec battery and doesn't require a more inefficient power inversion. But why did the higher volt amp and wattage UPS die before the lower rated one? This also likely has something to do with the efficiency of the UPS onboard inverters, where more energy is spent inverting power for the higher wattage 1500 volt amp battery over the lower wattage 900 volt amp, which leads us to believe that higher wattage UPS battery backups, which are almost always the more expensive option, may not actually be the best choice of the two options specifically for protecting your tank. So in answering today's questions, we definitely answered our first question of how long these battery backups will run our MP10s, where we gained some knowledge that might actually save you a few bucks if you're thinking about backing up your power heads with a UPS battery backup, where it may be worthwhile to spend a little more time comparing the options. This may be something we circle back to in a future test to help figure out how to view battery size compared to inverter size when choosing a UPS backup so we don't waste our hard earned dollars. Yet for today's second question of are the cost of these backups worth it when protecting your tank, I'd have to rate this one an 8 out of 10 since a battery backup of any kind is always worth the investment. However, there are some clear choices as to where your dollars will be best spent. We're still left questioning which UPS battery backup would be the most efficient for the cost since in today's test almost double the price absolutely did not equate to double the backup time but actually worse. Yet there is an even cheaper option to save your tank during a power outage and to find out how to do that, check out this video over here.